Hey, what's up, you guys? How y'all doing? What's up? What's going on? Definitely be sure to check out my main channel as that's where I do my uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reviews. All right, so um, let's go ahead and talk about this particular um, this episode. <laughs> so yeah, the ladies are back and we have some new additions as well. Um, Malaysia and Jackie, they go to some kind of like yoga spot with goats and it was just real weird. I mean, they said if the goat piss on the mat, then that means that... You're getting a blessing, but then the, the freaking goat did crap all over the mat. So I'm like, what does that mean? You getting money? It's about to rain on you because the way them little pebbles was coming out of his box side, it looked like it was about, it was raining. I mean, it was a hailstorm. That's what it looked like. I mean, I was just like, ew. And they tried to give her another mat. She did like certain moves and the freaking goat jumped on top of Jackie. Jackie was over it after that. She like, mm -mm. y'all ain't telling me what's going to do that. So now, Malaysia looked like she got a little chunky. I mean, she's, she's probably living good, eating good, you know, being bi-coastal. She's in both Atlanta as well as California. So Georgia and California, but, you know, they say Atlanta and L.A. They just want to use the city names. Um, and what else was happening? Jackie, she got something called liposculture. I think that's where they, like, move the fat around without actually doing anything evasive. If I know what I'm talking about, that's what it sounds like. So that's what I think it is. Where they kind of like, you know, use either something, I think something cold or something hot or something. And they kind of like scope it the way you want it to look. So anyways, she she got her little booty popping now, you know. Little body looking a little nice or whatever. And she's, she's just excited about everything. About the way her body looks and all that. Shawnee, she's becoming a weed boss. And she looks like she's trying to get her son to work with her as well because he's doing modeling. But she's like, all of them is like kind of branching out, doing their own mm -hmm. thing. So she's trying to keep her little hooks on him, get him into the business so, you know, he could have something down the line. She's trying to make sure she leaves something for her kids at the end of the day, which is amazing. That's great. Uh, Jen, she had to follow a restraining order on her ex because he's been like stalking her or whatever. So she, they did show her going to court later on and... She ended up winning where she got the restraining order. But I'm like, them pieces of paper is not... I mean, you have to you have to see them, pick out your, bring out your phone, call the cops. I mean, because a little paper, I've got a restraining order, is not going to... If this person is crazy, super crazy, like that little paper is not going to do much, you know? The only thing it can stop them from doing is being like in a public area with you. I mean, that will definitely help. You can always call the police or whatever. But if it's like some dark alley or some nighttime where you're walking your dog, then that's a little scary because they can still come around, you know? I don't know. I'm always iffy about those things. Like, it's good and it's bad at the end of the day. Uh, so Evelyn, she's been supporting Jen, offering her a place to stay if she's scared to be by herself. Like, just, you know, kind of being a good friend for her. So she definitely appreciates her. Carlos and Evelyn are no longer together, even though she was going through all of this IVF, you know, being an older woman, risking her life, like, you know, going through so much, removing her eggs so that she can have eggs to harvest and do the whole process. And she says that she found out he was doing something. So I'm assuming he was cheating because that's what it kind of sound like. And she tried to stay around for the kid because, you know, they had the little Leo together, the, the son, but... She says that he seems like he didn't really want to be in it. And you can't make anybody stay where they didn't want to stay. Which is totally true. Like, you should never beg anybody to be with you. Like, F out of here. I mean, you got his baby, so you're going to get his money. This is, like, what? The second free check that she's gotten. So she good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, whatever. I mean, I know it's embarrassing for her as well. It's like, damn, you can't keep a man. Something ain't right. But, yeah, but then again, it's the kind of people that she's probably going after as well, these athletes that are, like, wanted by everybody, you know? So now she's doing, well, not doing, oh, well, yeah, she is doing, because she did kind of admit that, that her vagina's been pretty, pretty damn busy. Um, she's with French Montana now, and, um, you know, it's just two Bronx people that just kind of, like, clicked or whatever. I guess he's from the Bronx or whatever. Okay. Um... So Jackie, she be super creepy when she be talking to Malaysia. She told her something about like her and Doug been watching porn, which is nice, you know. You get get some new moves, see some spicy stuff. I be doing that. But anyways, they was watching porn, 
and she put up a picture of a little white girl or whatever and he was like oh she's like but put up a black girl and then he was like what about somebody like malaysia and i'm just like why is she be wanting to tell her these stuff so that every time she see doug she could be creeped out like that's like your father you know what i mean like Ew, I wouldn't even want to hear nothing like that. Like, maybe if they was, you know, I'll be down. I'll be, if I was Malaysia, I'll be down and good with it. If Doug was, like, mad, young, and cute. But, like, dude is mad old. <laughs> That's like, do it, thinking about your daddy trying to do you. Like, isn't she probably, like, the same age as his daughter? Like, ew. Anyways. um, Well, she probably older than his daughter. I don't know how old the daughter is. But yeah, probably a little older. Um, what happened after that? Let me see. Let me get back to my notes. I'm just like going off. Um, so we get introduced to two of Malaysia's cousins. I forgot their names. I don't think I wrote their names down. We'll, we'll get their names later on in the next episode. Um, they married to, no, actually it's two cousins that were coaches that are married to these two women that are now, I guess they won't be on the show or they get a little test run to be on the show, you know? Tammy, she doesn't see Reggie as often, but, you know, they're still heavy, they're still hot, she's getting, she's securing the bag, you know, getting this money, and he wants to, um, he talk about kind of like proposing or whatever, or something about proposal, he said something about what about this proposal, so, I mean, they ready to move on to the next step, he really wants to be with her, and, you know, that's beautiful, I don't know what happened to the whole baby situation, like, they ain't really talking about that, but, I mean, the way that she's working so much, it doesn't seem like that's something that's really on her mind unless they're, they are going to probably proceed with the um, surrogate situation. I wouldn't be surprised. So now, Frenchman Montana, like I said, he's with Evelyn. And um, I guess that's why she's doing her thing in the gym, trying to get that revenge body back. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> trying to get that revenge body, you know, so that Carlos could be feeling some type of way. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure Carlos is fine. You know, he's probably happy with his little, his little chicks or whatever. Oh, I thought my phone was ringing. Uh, so, Jackie, she absolutely adores her new granddaughter, um, Chantel's daughter. And it looks like they have a great bond. She even, like, Chantel took the baby from her real quick. And the baby started crying. But she was like, it's because of some of the snacks that Grandma be giving her, too. That's why she's so attached to her. Uh, she tells her that she's going to invite her to go to this party where, you know, she's going to see Evelyn as well as all the other girls. And she doesn't really feel comfortable going by herself. So, that's what she's doing there. So, yeah, it's it's a Mardi Gras party for one of uh, Malaysia's cousins. And, I mean, everything seemed to be going okay initially. But then, as soon as Jackie and Chantel walks in... Evelyn just kind of gave her the side eye and just you saw the negativity just like looming like a dark cloud in the air in the freaking club. Like it was just weird and you can cut the tension with a knife. I'm just like, like Evelyn, why you gotta be so extra? And her and Jen, you know, like the mean girls over there on the side, like just kind of talking about people. And I don't know. Um... You know, they try to do a toast. Evelyn and Jackie both weren't having it. Chantel takes it upon herself to say she wants to go and talk to Evelyn. She introduces herself and says how she thinks that her mom has changed and she really wants to talk to her. And Evelyn's just like, you know what, I'm over it. I mean, she said it very respectfully, but pretty much just letting her know that she's over it. One thing that they don't usually do, they don't talk about people's kids and she's just like, she's done with her. Um, she can be okay she says she's forgiven but she's not gonna forget and she's not gonna be fake either so after that jackie was just being super extra she like when her daughter came back downstairs she was just like all right we're out of here because i don't see why you're trying to pick her side and i'm just like wait what like pick sides what be, what the hell are you even talking about first of all they just had a little conversation ain't no picking no sides like how what she afraid that, um, I guess her daughter going to go off the handles like Takari did and start telling secrets, <laughs> the family secrets to the press and stuff like that. And Evelyn's going to get her little hooks into her as well. I'm just like, you in, you acting mad, super insecure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? I don't know. 
Um, so then Tammy, Shawnee, and Jen, they end up meeting up later on. They discuss Evelyn and how, you know, certain... Because, you know, Shawnee's cool with both of them. So they was discussing, like, jokes that Evelyn be telling. And Tammy seemed like she did get a little offended. But she made some jokes of her own. Like, you know, how Evelyn is being used for promotion or something like that. For, for French Montana's promotion. <laughs> Something along those lines. I was like, damn, the shade is real. And she was like, you know what? Well, if she want to talk about my walk, watch me walk. <laughs> I mean, she too got a little bit of a stink walk. Though. It's like, you know, the the auntie who got the attitude, you know, like, and be smoking. <laughs> but it's, 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 I mean, I'm used to it. It's whatever. But um, that's how it kind of started out. It started out with a whole lot of shit, okay? So, it's like, pretty much, it seems like it's two people that ain't really feeling Evelyn right now, which is both, uh, which is both, what you call it, both Evelyn as well as, um, Jackie. So, I guess they're gonna try to form a bond against her. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's the episode, you guys. Stay, stick around, you know, subscribe and all that stuff. We're gonna keep rocking it out. Laters. Mm-hmm. <laughs>